We out here looking like a marshmallow because it's cold. God damn. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so we are on part three of this beloved and what's another adjective that I can use? <laughs> a series. <laughs> Thanks for following along with me on this journey. Uh, hope you guys had as much fun as I absolutely did not. After talking to this wide array of boys, from the horn, to the corn, to the cool, and after much, much big brain energy thinking, we are finally ready to answer the age-old question. Are people on dating apps during lockdown still horn dogs, or are they actually more wholesome now that we can only communicate online? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> honestly, both. Let me explain. So, I found that the spectrum of people was about the same as a non-pandemic situation. The only real difference was that I felt like people were a little bit more emotionally open with me. Isolation definitely came up as a conversation starter for a lot of my conversations. Honestly, it's a really great way to start up genuine conversation. It's a topic that everyone's going through right now. So naturally, you already have this thing that brings you guys together, but it's also something that has different significance for everyone. Just by talking about it, you kind of open up something that can either go really deep, stay light, just go anywhere really. Then from there, you just start learning things about each other and uh, <clears throat> that's called a connection. Anything can be a good conversation starter, but coronavirus just has that extra bit of intricacy that uh, DTF just doesn't. I mean, it could just be me, I don't know. Uh, also, to quickly clarify, I didn't talk to anyone for more than a few days, and this was because as I started talking to these boys, I realized, hey, they're real people with emotions. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I definitely kind of felt guilty the more I talked to them, especially with the people that genuinely wanted to connect with me. We could have carried the conversation into something with more depth, but obviously the more in depth you go, the more invested they would become. Like imagine talking to someone on Tinder for a solid week about some real shit. You start developing a genuine connection, maybe feelings for this person because conversation is just that good because I am that good. And then they just go around and say, lol jokes, that was just an experiment. Yeet. <laughs> anyway, coming back to my conclusion. As we know, successful long lasting relationships only really happen if the emotional connection is super solid. With the whole world going through something that has increased stress, anxiety and depression for many, which in turn makes us want to connect more with others. And with the fact that we can only communicate online, I think for sure more genuine connections are going to be made from these dating apps right now. This whole situation literally forces us to prioritize emotional bonding before anything else. That just filters out all the short term, quick fixes kind of stuff and what's produced, whether it's romantic or not, is a proper bond. And I think that's really awesome. Cause you know, me and Starboy are like homies for life, all right? <laughs> but I do have to agree that um, the situation has also increased certain uh, sacrilegious desires and impulses. So yeah, I think we're all just becoming horn dogs that also want emotional comfort because this be some tough titty times. <laughs> but hey, that's still a win. So yeah, um, this was a great use of my time. It's a very fun experiment. Honestly, it was just nice to get a little bit of attention, you know? She been feeling a little bit lonely these days, so uh... <laughs> If you guys have any thoughts or anything, let me know. I would love to hear it. But yeah, I'm gonna just get back to uh, the real men of online dating. So until then, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>
I meet a completely different person. I've grown to be really untrusting of that kind of method of meeting people. I just don't really want to do it. <laughs> I don't really want to waste my time. <laughs> just in case anyone was curious. I, just saying, just saying, just saying. You know, as I always say, I just like meeting people organically, like in a bar or something. So... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> also, I have made a Facebook page. Ever since I made that page, I have gotten so many like CD people slide into my DMs. They're mostly Indians. Um, like Indian men. I can't leave this experiment. It's it's spreading everywhere. 